viral streamer Ice Poseidon dominating the news. Hi, I'm Rip Wilson, and this is Get to the Point News. First off, Ice Poseidon breaking up with his longtime girlfriend Caroline Burt and had to defend questions from his fans whether the breakup was all fake. Why in the fuck would I fake breakup? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. I mean, think about it like this. If I get caught fake breaking up, do you not think that would be very detrimental to my career? I mean, it would. And do you think I would really take that fucking risk? No, I wouldn't. And for people bringing up the Haley and Geisha bullshit, here's the thing. I did break up with Haley, but I decided to cheat on Geisha with Haley motherfucking months later. That's a, that's a whole different fucking story, okay? Ice's ex, Caroline Burt, has locked her Twitter account, suspectedly to avoid some of the criticism and hate that she would surely receive, never being a very popular fan favorite among Ice's fans. Speaking of Ice Poseidon's fans, Reddit was alive with accusations that these two gentlemen ripped off Ice Poseidon, selling him credentials for the Golden Globe Awards for $500. Here they are. Tell those gays to kill to themselves. Shop over with here. the gay people? Oh, okay. all, right, all right, tell the gays. We're going to get an island and we're going to nuke it. So as you get Sorry. there. Oh, okay. Why not? I'm not gay, so gonna, fuck we're it. We're going to put the gays in Hawaii <laughs> and we're going to super nuke it. We're going to send three nukes over there. Yeah, while we're at it, let's add the trams as well. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Bruce Jenner first. Yeah, yeah no, I'm joking. We don't send it in the outer space and I'm ejecting joking. them. I'm joking. Don't do that. that. Don't kill the gays. We like, no, we like we're, everybody we're equally. We're sending Caitlyn you Jenner to those outer niggas space. Around. What yeah. happened to equal rights to everyone? Bro, we After we decapitate the gays. <laughs> no, United States is looking real fat. No, I'm bringing back public beheading. <laughs> Reportedly, Ice Poseidon attempted to access the Golden Globe Awards with these credentials, and he was only met with this. Uh, we're, we're, we're not doing that one right now. I want you to wait back over that way. What okay? do you mean we're not doing that one? Um, what does that mean? It's, it's not valid, sir. It's not valid? No. So I want you to back up for me. And keep, <laughs> this, keep the sidewalk clear, please. How is it not valid? I'm just curious. Sir, they're not going to let you in tonight. Because of this badge? That badge is not a valid badge, sir. For what reason? I'm doing like a little experiment here. Not with you guys, but with somebody yeah, else. but I need to keep this area clear. Can you just tell me? Oh, of course. Can you just tell me where we are? Well, I warned them. Yeah. They fucked me on 500. This is, this is now you guys know what to do. Santa Monica, right? Shortly after the stream went live, ISIS Reddit fans were reporting that this particular security guard was being doxxed and his pictures of his house were being posted on the internet. For more, let's check in with Johnny Blitzer. Lots of crazy shit goes down while streaming, and to a wide extent, that is exactly why people love watching it. You get to see those raw, uncut moments that could have easily been edited out, hiding the truth in a normal video. And recently, Ice Poseidon and Hampton Brandon got a little heated on an exchange on a public street. Watch this. Why can't you just be real? We can't even have a real comp- Bro, do not have- Bro, you're just I like- I streamed that you're Twitch gone just Andy, fine. Bro. Touch me, touch me, bro. Now, when a man throws a cup in another man's face, or as I like to call it, a liquid holding device, you know shit just got real. See, whenever I get into an argument that I know I can't win, I always throw whatever is in my right hand at that person's face. There's no easier way or faster way to win an argument or get a restraining order. Yo, look at this yuppie, though. They didn't even fight. Okay. They didn't even fight. They fake that. I got you with food, bro. Come here. I'm a best yuppie, bro. Come on. And it doesn't end there. Hampton later came back showing off his exquisite vocal skills. You're delusional and I'm not. That's why I have people behind okay, me and so your go. girlfriend so is go. a slut. So go. I don't have a girlfriend. So go, dude. You did it. So go. Mm. Uh -huh. UFCX2, look out for it, guys. Just how you right, look. Dude, go, Content go, King. Go, Content go, King. Go, dude, Content go, King. Dude, get the Content. fuck out of here. Oh, I'm dude. gonna kill you now. Now, for the most part, during this entire time, Ice Poseidon showed respect and grace, but Brandon did come back for a third time, this time with his ethnic crew just to show that he is really a nice guy. Bro, everyone lies, bro, dog. Scared, every, bro. Every, bro, you're bringing, you're bringing like two fucking dudes here. What, what, are, you, what are you doing? And what are you doing? And thanks to a helpful fan, Hampton was put in his place. UFCX2! UFCX2! Stop touching me, I'm not scared bro. of shit! Get Gang out of here. shit! Get out of here. Get down, Get out of here. Remember, kids, don't do drugs unless you get them for free. Former Lux Clan member and e-girl says she's leaving social media 
for good. Abigail wrote, After leaving Lux, I have now decided to leave social media. We'll probably get a lot of no one cares BS, but I just thought I would say something before I ghosted. Before I started doing this whole thing, I was working a 9-to-5 job as a transcriptionist in a hospital. I hated my job. Zoe was my roommate at the time and on the rise to 1 million on YouTube. She asked me to join her and promised all these opportunities in money, etc. I was very hesitant to join because I've never really been into social media or having that kind of life. A year has gone by and none of these promises have held true. It wasn't a waste of my time, rather a learning experience. And to walk away from this experience was hard, but to me, life is not about social media or the clothes you wear or the car you drive. No amount of money can personally make me happy. No amount of followers, likes on Instagram or Twitter make me happy. These things are so superficial and are not what I am at all. So I'm going back to working in 9 to 5 and living my cute little life with my hubby and my kitties. Thank you to all who have supported me through this chapter in my life. Oh, the e-girl, she's got feelings. She doesn't want to do social media anymore. Oh, that's too bad. Abigail, I'd like to say this to you and every other e-girl out there. Godspeed. Good luck. Drama alert host Keemstar has continued his new tradition in punching down on smaller YouTubers. You might be familiar with the war that's going on with the Shot for the Point Network head, Tommy C. His latest victim is Turkey Tom, a 4,000 sub YouTuber. Here it is. Hello there, Turkey Tom. It looks like you're criticizing Kavas for his last five videos being about the Paul brothers. <laughs> I wonder why. Because the Paul brothers have been fucking up recently. But since you think this is such a fair criticism, let's talk about your channel. Okay, first of all, who the fuck is- why is there some cartoon character? what is this? Are you fucking Disney Channel Nickelodeon, bro? And why is your name Turkey Tom, but you're not a turkey? All right, if you really want to pull this off and brand it right, you'd be a fucking turkey. Christmas time, boys and girls. Time to put on my- That's garbage, bro. What is wrong with your voice? Now listen, I don't want to be that asshole that's like, ha ha ha, you only have 4,000 subs. But ha 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 ha, you only have 4,000 subs! Bro, you created this channel in 2015. How you gonna go criticize other people, Mr. Turkey? When you yourself, like, just suck, all right, bro? Like, if your content was good, people would share it with other people, people would sub to you, and your channel would grow, all right? So how are you gonna call out somebody that just got 20 million views and be like, oh, he's doing something wrong, fair criticism, when you can't do your shit right? If you were doing your shit right, you'd have a silver plaque by now, bro. Gone are the days where Keemstar picked fights for guys that were a lot bigger than them. Guys like Great A under A, Pirate Cynical, and Leafy is here. There doesn't seem to be too much criticism out there of Keemstar these days with his growing popularity. The only folks that are left are smaller commentators and tiny channels. Point now where 4,000 sub YouTubers are going to be intimidated by a 3 million followed Twitter account.